protocols are duly observed. I greatly with the best salutation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Uh, I am asked to present based on curbing the maintenance of drug abuse among youths. Lesson from Sheikh Uthman bin Afford Your Life. Actually, Actually, I would like to emphasize more on the drugs, as we know that today youth are joining the train of drug abuse. I would like by emphasizing on what the Almighty said in the Holy Quran. Actually, drug abuse has been since when the earth is created. That's why God the Almighty said in the Holy Quran during the time of the Holy Prophet, may peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, uh, the companions came to him and asked him about wine because they have seen how it has tremendously affected the life, personality and behavior of the Sahaba. They came and asked him and God the Almighty did not prohibit wine at once. It prohibited it in three stages. At the first time, God the Almighty said, after they came and asked the prophet, may peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, they asked him about wine. God said in the Holy Quran, chapter 2, verse 219, Yes, khamri wal maysir, Qul fihima ithmun kabirun wa manafi ulin nas wa ithmuhuma akbaru min nafihima. They came and said to the Holy Prophet, they are asking him of wine. Then the Holy Prophet said, Ul fihima ithmun kabir. He said in it there is a great sin. Wa ithmuhuma akbaru min nafihima. And the sin is greater than just the desire or the excitement they derive from such intoxicant. Actually, since our people in Curry are not around, are we a little like to put on their shoes and explain the excitement that leads to continue abusing those drugs. It acts on the dopamine receptors in the brain center, thereby releasing some hormones, some excitement hormones of which someone will be high. One of the scholars, or let me see, one of the singers of Jahiliya said, After we have drink beer, it led us to be kings. And that is why in the field of psychiatry we have what we call hallucination. Hallucination is a state of which you will be overexcited. You will be seeing things not actually as they are. You will be hearing words not actually as they are being taught to you, but what? But because of you have altered your brain action, you have altered your brain function. When you drink those beers, actually, you will hurt some sound. They will come to you, or you will hurt just a sound, giving you some stagnant or granulosity. You will be over-exaggerated. You will be given so many commands of which you are nobody, you are nothing. But you will be what? You will be taken to a very high peak stage of which you will might have even a sound from the earth commanding you that you are the last prophet. After all, the last prophet has been there for a quite very period of time. I have witnessed an event in the psychiatric, uh, neuropsychiatric hospital in Kori, local government, where a patient was brought in and he was interviewed. He was said that he is the last prophet. He was commanded to come and be and he is even asking me that if I like prayer, there is no problem. He will ask God just to give me no problem. He is the last prophet. That is what he has been told him. I am sure the commandant of the NDLEA will know more about all what I am saying because I have indulged or I have skipped a little bit to the word, to the medical aspect. Actually, they intoxicate themselves and this drug would act on the word brain receptor, thereby releasing some dopamines. If it releases dopamine, it will result to your excitement, of which you will be thinking that you are, in fact, you are the president of the nation. Because there is another one that is just entitled, and he is saying that he is having meeting with Obama. He is having meeting with the chief of Amsterdam. They should just 
release him. He wants to see Buhari. Buhari has been waiting for him for over 24 hours. Please, leave me. I want to see Buhari. He's waiting for me. Just what? Just because he has intoxicated himself. Some of these drugs include what? They include haloperidol, they include diazepam, pentazosin, and so on and so forth. We have morphine, they are morphine, and so on and so forth. And uh, uh, let me not just be discussing, but rather go to the second ayat. This is the first ayat, of which what? God did not directly avoid them or did not directly what? Concluded that they shouldn't take intoxicant at all, but he rather a little bit asked them what? Ask them that it has a sin and they should quietly what? He did not ask them directly to avoid them, but he said what? The great sin is what better than the little benefit or the excitement they derive from such drugs. Then the second box said in Surah 2, my either in Surah 27, chapter 4, verses 43. يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تقربوا الصلاة وأنتم سكارى حتى تعلموا ما تقولون. He said to them that do not go and preach because al musalli yunaji rabbah. Whenever you went directly and say Allahu Akbar, God the Almighty will reply to you and say Hamadani Rabbi. So Hamadani Rabbi, Hamadani Abdi. Sorry, Hamadani Abdi. So. When you went to pray, you are what, interacting with your Lord. And actually, yes. you have to be in a sense of what consciousness at that moment. So, when they are going to pray, God reveals this ayat and say, Raja ayuha alladheena amanu la taqarabu salata wa antum sukara hatta ta'alamu ma taqulun. You shouldn't go and pray unless you are conscious and you know what you are saying. And the last verse, is the one that was revealed in Surah to Maida, that is chapter 5, verse 90 to 91, where God the Almighty said to them, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu innama al-khamru wal-maysu wal-ansabu wal-azlamu rizum min amal al-shaytan fajtanibuhu la'allakum tuflihu. He said, indeed, O you who believe, innama al-khamru, indeed wine, wal-ansabu wal-azlamu rizum min amal al-shaytan. And uh, gambling and sacrification to adults, they are all evil's work. So you should abstain from them. That is the last stage of which God was prohibited wine or alcohol. So even now, when you are interacting with someone that usually take alcohol, you can't just avoid it at once because there is what? There is withdrawals symptoms that might affect him and he couldn't sit. We can only reduce gradually until he completely stopped taking intoxicant. Actually, time is against us. I am rushing because of time factor. Uh, I would like to uh, correlate what I have been saying with the life of our Sheikh, which is Sheikh Uthman bin Fodi. Actually, he is a great scholar of which he has played a vital role toward transforming this ummah or this nation to become one of the great we have ever had in the West Africa. Actually, the statistics of this drug abuse today is about 15%. And this 15% the total have resulted to about 4.3 million intoxications of the youth has, been came, has become very rampant today. And we have so many classifications of these drugs, of which time will not allow me to uh, explain them one after the other. We have the stimulant, we have the narcotics, we have the cannabis, we have the depressant hallucinations, we have the hallucinogens, we have the inhalants, we have the acrodiacide. Not only drugs are being abused today, we have so many different substances that are abused. We have extractal of bed, extractal of lizard, extractal of even humans. It's, however, very annoying as you might see a person just going directly to a latrine pit, bending down his head. Just what? just to inhale the toxic air that might be coming out from defecation of human. 
is very annoying, actually. Uh, and uh, it's, however, the, 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 the rapid state of which you, you, this has been into our life, it is annoying, actually. Unless you visit one of the psychiatric hospitals, you will actually see what I am saying vividly with your two eyes. And God the Almighty said, Wala anfusakum. Indeed, whoever involves himself in this act is as if he is killing himself. Because of what? Because you couldn't, you, whenever a man, God has created man to survive based on food and water. So whenever you are intoxicated or you involve yourself in drug abuse, you can't survive without them. You can survive without even taking much food, but you can't survive without taking dr drugs. Okay. So, at, uh, at the final stage, uh, I would like to emphasize on what Sheikh says, lesson from his life. Uh, in a book titled Diyaul Hukami Fi Ma Lahum Wa Ma Lahum Min Al Ahkam Fi Ma Lahum Wa Ma Alayhim Min Al Ahkam Abdullah ibn Fodio said in the book that uh, whoever is expected to have drink intoxicant he will be beaten or given 50 or 70 lashes just as a discipline to him because of what he has involved himself in doing. And ultimately, before I sit, I would like to emphasize on the knowledge he has spread. He has drastically played a role in spreading knowledge all over the world, all over the nation. He has sent so many scholars to corners, rule of the nation to deliver Islam. And that is one of the aim of Sheikh, or one of the critical roles he played that usually play a vital role even now to our lives. He has sent so many scholars, Abu Hamid, he sent him to Zamfara State, and uh, he sent uh, Muhammad Meijo to Kebi, Mala Musa to Zazzaw, Isiaka to Dawra, and so on and so forth. Uh, without uh, much, uh, we like to say, Alhamdulillah, time is not in our part, but this is the little we can deliver. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.